from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Girls in Tech Catalyst Conference, brought to you by Girls in Tech. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at the Girls in Tech Catalyst Conference 2018. About 700, uh, mainly women, a few men, and they just brought in a busload of kids to come in and hear inspirational stories really of women in technical leadership positions for the last two days. It's a really great event. We're excited to be back for our second time. And our next guest who've been traveling just as much as the CUBE team all the way back from Cisco Live, which we were at yesterday, uh, Subra Govil, she's a director of product management from Cisco. Welcome. Thank you. So how was Cisco Live? Cisco Live was awesome. Yes, we had very different audience there. Yeah. Uh, percentage of women, as you can imagine, sometime in the networking industries, not as much as we would like to right, see. Right, right. But that's why we are here. That's why you're here. And we are really trying to bring in a lot more women in our product teams uh, within Cisco. Again, it comes down to having the 50-50 voice. Right. So this is a great place to be, to meet other like-minded women and in industry and trying to get some right. talent. Well, good for you for making the trip, because I'm sure you guys Absolutely. are wiped out when it's your own show. You work harder <laughs> than, than any other show. But it, it really begs the question, how long has Cisco been involved in, in Girls in Tech? And again, what is it that this gives you that's so different than a big conference? Correct. So Cisco has been involved for the last few years with Girls in Tech, and just like uh, we have been involved with several other organizations in the industry, really it comes down to being out there and spotting the talent. Um, big part of that is uh, being at the events and networking with the talent and understanding their needs. This comes down to really finding the, the right uh, perspective as right. well as the cultural fit for people that we bring in. Um, the best part about the Girls in Tech events is that um, there are a lot more uh, hands-on training that they are doing in terms of as part of Cisco's DevNet environment, that's, so I'm part of Cisco's DevNet team. Right. And uh, we are driving Cisco's developer program to build more on top of Cisco's APIs. And in that role, uh, always looking for people who are ready to go hands-on right. and build cool solutions right. on top of Cisco APIs. So this is a great place. They have been doing a lot of coding camps and other formal boot camps where girls can come in and be part of this ecosystem, be ready for the next opportunity right. that comes. It's interesting because you know you, you can't just do what you could do in the past, which is just go do the campus recruiting and, and you know kind of the, the things that we think of as everyday HR pipeline because you need more and Absolutely. you need more diverse. So to be active in all these uh, di various organizations that have very strong focuses in diversity, whether it be women or uh, underrepresented uh, populations, et cetera. So pretty, pretty interesting investment that you guys are making there with time, money, and people. Absolutely, absolutely. It is key. It is totally the key for Cisco and for every single technology company out there to be out there and finding the diverse opinion. It really comes down to technology is not made just for men and 50% of population, female population, there's not a lot of thinking that goes in in designing the technology as to how different people will use it. Right. And big part of it is bringing the people who can think from that perspective. Right, right. And that's kind of where the where we are out there, making sure that we can bring in that opinion. Right. Into the opinion. And the culture is such a big thing. And yes. you guys had such a big culture change with the new CEO ship because you know, there's such strong personalities and now you guys have, have moved on to a new CEO. We keep hearing about culture over and over again and how important it is to bring that up. So how important is it from the cultural aspect to be involved and get these diversity of opinion? It is huge. So really Chuck Robbins has been bringing a very humble culture. People really trying to be there for everyone, each other, and as a community, you are really building the talent not just for doing the right jobs and bringing the right perspective, but also culturally bringing those opinions, as well as bringing the thinking that's going to change the culture moving forward. The technology disruption that's around us right. has to do a lot with how culturally things are changing. There is amalgamation of people coming from all over the world, and in that mode, when you're designing a technology or when you're from networking perspective, as we think about Cisco's networking culture, 
network engineers are evolving too, and they are becoming more part of programmable network. Right. And that's in that cultural shift goes along with it, which is to bring in the right people culture. And part of it is being out at the events and meeting people uh, coming from different places and bringing those opinions. Yeah, it's, it's interesting we're at Bespoke because I think it was last year we were here with the Cisco DevNet, DevNet team. Create. And and really a different kind of point of view coming Absolutely. out of Cisco led by Susie Wee and the team in terms yes. of reaching out for developers, not, exactly. not a closed system, really trying to engage with the developer community. And, and that's part of it, like uh, Cisco's DevNet community is uh, we recently crossed a milestone of 500,000 developers. Oh, that's what that's, I heard, that was the big uh, celebration the at big the party, right? Right. Half a million, very good. At Cisco Live. Congratulations. And DevNet Create was an attempt in that direction as well to really bring the application developer and that thinking about like network engineers who have been changing the way each application works, how the Internet of Things is going to further drive the growth of Internet. Right. In that world, we also need a lot of application developers coming in, and that was the attempt with DevNet Create Conference. And that's where girls in tech and other such events are very important right. part of the. And only going to be more crazy when 5G comes online in a couple of years. <laughs> the demand for networking demand is, for and networking bandwidth is, is not slowing down anytime it's soon. It's not. <laughs> All right, Shiva. Well, thank you for spending a few times. I'm sure you are tired after the long, uh, the long event. So hopefully you get through this and you can uh, take it easy this weekend. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> All right. It's good to talk to you. All right. Thanks for, for sure. stopping by. I'm Jeff. You're watching The Cube from Girls in Tech Catalyst 2018. Thanks for watching.